Hey guys, it's bedtime again, and tonight I'm going to read Wayne the Pooh, Believe in Yourself, from the Hundred Acre, Lessons from the Hundred Acre Wood. It can be kind of scary trying something new. Just remember, you can do it. Just believe in you. Piglet hummed cheerfully as he finished sweeping his front step. He was rather enjoying himself. So, as he often did when he was busy tidying up his house, it was a comfortable sort of thing to do. There's Piglet cleaning up his front steps. Just then, a very excited Roo hopped into view. Hello, Piglet, Roo shouted. We're going on a picnic. Pooh's coming, and Tigger, and Rabbit, and Eeyore. Would you like to come too? Oh yes. This is just the sort of thing day for a picnic, Piglet explained. Wait for me, Roo. I'll just get the acorn cookies I baked this morning. And there's Roo coming up to Piglet, and Piglet getting cookies. Going, we're going down to the big meadow, Rue told Piglet as they set off to join the others. Mama says there are flowers and butterflies and soft places to sit. It all sounded wonderful to Piglet. Here you are, buddy boys, Tigger cried with, when Piglet and Rue met up with their friends. And right across that stream, <coughs> and right across that stream is a perfect for Picnic Meadow, Pooh said. And there we are, joining up their friends next to the stream with the meadow in the distance. They all look pretty happy, don't they? Even Eeyore, as far as Eeyore goes. Piglet looked at where Pooh was pointing. Then he looked at the stream. They had to cross over a log to get to the other side. Suddenly, Piglet wasn't so feeling so happy anymore. Come on, everybody, Tigger called. Follow me. Tigger bounced across the log, chattering to Pooh, and Pooh crossed, balancing a honeypot in each hand. There's Piglet. He looks kind of nervous to cross that log, doesn't he? And there's Tigger leading the way. Everybody else still looks so happy. Roo jumped into his mother's pouch, and they crossed together. Eeyore ambled slowly across, with a picnic basket in his mouth. Can we speed things up here? Rabbit muttered from the rear. Soon, only Piglet was left. Oh dear, I can't do it. I'm much too afraid to cross, said Piglet. And there they are, Eeyore pig carrying his basket, Rabbit getting impatient. Everybody just waiting cheerfully with Piglet getting more and more afraid. You are kind of small for this sort of thing, aren't you, little buddy? Tigger said. Too bad. What are you waiting for? Rabbit asked. Let's get hopping. We can't go without Piglet. We can't go without Piglet, Pooh said. Piglet felt terrible. He didn't want to miss the picnic. But he also didn't want to cross the, that log. It's too hard for me, Pooh. I just don't think I can do it. And there they are. He looks so guilty because he's afraid. And everybody else is trying to encourage him across. But do it, Pooh said. You've done hard things before. I have? Piglet asked, surprised. Oh, yes, Pooh said very definitely. Remember when you were sleeping over at my house and Owl came to tell us where there, there were shooting stars outside, Pooh asked? I remember, Pooh, Piglet said. It was very dark and I was afraid to go out. Yeah. Pooh and Piglet talking, and there's the memory he's bringing up. It doesn't look too terribly dark in the picture, but you can see the 
see the dark sky and the star up there. You were afraid, but you went outside to look at the stars anyway, Pooh said. I did, didn't I? Piglet said, and it was wonderful. Piglet felt a little bit better. He stood up a little straighter. Thank you for reminding me of that, Pooh, he said. You're welcome, Piglet, Pooh said. There they are, with Owl looking at shooting stars. And there's Piglet, starting to believe that he can do it, even though he's afraid. Hey, wasn't that you who saved Drew from the bees, Piglet? Tigger asked. That was Splendiferous. Yes, yes, that was me. Aren't you afraid? Aren't you scared of bees, Piglet? Rabbit asked. They sting, you know. Yes, I know, Piglet said. And I was scared. But Rue needed my help. And there he is, chasing the bees away from Rue. And there he is again, being chased by the same bees. Piglet's very brave, isn't he? You were very brave, dear, Kanga said gratefully. I was, Piglet asked. He was feeling better and better. I was brave once, too, Piglet said. Remember, Piglet, we were brave together. Piglet didn't remember. I was at, I was at the sack race at my birth. It was at the sack race at my birthday party, said Rue. Oh, yes, now I remember, Pooh replied. Everybody said we are too small to be in the race. And we were afraid they might be right. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to show you the picture. There's Piglet starting to feel more brave. Starting to feel confidence in himself. And there's Rue sitting in his mama's lap, arms. Thinking of happy memories. But we showed them, Rue shouted, we even won. We sure did, Piglet left, yeah. Piglet wondered, <coughs> Piglet wondered how he had forgotten. He had felt so proud that day. And there they are at the starting line. Oh, everybody in their own little sacks, they do look a lot smaller than everybody else. And there they are, crossing the line, first and second place. No one else even looked for them. They did it because they could believe in themselves, didn't they? See, Piglet, Pooh said. You've done lots of things you di didn't think you could do. Yeah, Tigger said. You're downright courageous. Piglet took a deep breath. He looked at the log, then looked at his friends. This is hard. This is hard. But if I try, I think I may be able to do it. And there he is, building up his courage with everybody else cheering him on. Will he do it? Do you think he'll be able to? Piglet stepped onto the log. He was still scared, but he crossed the log anyway, one careful step at a time. When Piglet made it across the stream, his friends all cheered. We knew you could do it! And now I know I can do it too, Piglet said happily. And just I just had to remember to believe in myself. And there he is. Bravely 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 getting past his fear and crossing the log and celebrating with everybody else when he made it. Good job, Piglet. Way to be brave. A lesson a day, Pooh's way. Believe in yourself. And you can do great things, like Piglet overcome his fear. Remember to be good, be kind. Good night.